friend, it's Pat Sloan here. Guess what? It is Critter Day. So we're going to talk about the critters, we're going to talk about Quilted Witch, we're going to do some work on sewing a unit together, uh, and a few other things. So including today, well first, first let me show you. I have the Gumi, the Gumi Bear t-shirt on that one of our friends sent. Isn't this darling? Although we do have to tell the Life is Good people that you need to spell it G-U-M-M-I. So, but that's okay. They're close. They're close. <laughs> no cigar, but they're close. <laughs> they look cute under here. This is uh, these little jackets that were put out by Target about three years ago now. So no more to be found, but they are our printed fabric made in, like a quilt, made into a jacket. I have the white one too. So, so cute. So cute. So today is Tom Thumb Day. So guess what? Guess what? You're going to show miniature quilts. I'm going to show you two of mine because I've kept two. I made a bunch of miniatures at one point and I don't have any of them, but these two. And these two were actually like my first real quilts after that massive bed one that I did like back in, you know, 1979. <laughs> and then I didn't do anything again until 1992 when my friend wanted me to learn to quilt and I wasn't sure about it. And so the local shop, instead of taking a beginner class right away, because I really wasn't sure I wanted to do this, um, they had a miniature class where it was just like one day. I'm like, okay, so I can get used to it. And I sewed clothing, so the fact that it said miniature, this didn't really, you know, scare me, or I didn't really think too much about it. So this is the first miniature quilt I did in 1992. And I remember they had a little basket of like fat quarters. And I thought, I don't know that I'm really gonna like this. So I'm gonna pick like really, like fabrics I don't like. Like, why was I think? I can remember thinking that. Thinking, I'm going to pick a couple that I just, I am not really care for them, but that way, like, I don't really have much vested in this. I guess I didn't want to get too invested in the whole thing. Weird. And then I had this on the back. I don't know where that came from. I had uh, little nieces and nephews that were just being born, so I suppose this was something I uh, had made for them, maybe some pillows or something like that. So this is the first one. And then I did the little trip around the world the same year. But I also did take the first quilting class at same 1992. So uh, there we go. There we go. Those are my miniatures. Boom. Your turn. Go, go, go. And that's uh, over at my Facebook group, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. Uh, share your miniatures. And speaking of that, and the 10th anniversary was yesterday, and all month there's going to be different things uh, that I'll talk about. Uh, the there was so much, so much fun sharing yesterday about being in the group. I just loved it. And here at YouTube, you left messages. And I got, I have two of the items in. Here is the mug, the 10th anniversary of Quilt Along with Pat Sloan group. And so this is what the logo looks like. And it's on the t-shirts and the sweatshirts and the bags and everything. And then we have stickers. I have the first sticker. We have, to, we have two of them to pick from. So Kate had them sent to me. I didn't get the second one yet, but they're going to look like this. And they'll be up there as soon as the second one comes in and I see which one looks better. You know, this one looks really good, but if the other one I like better, then we'll, we'll go with that sticker. So I'm waiting on that, but there will be some cute stickers. Look. 10th anniversary. Isn't that amazing? Kate did such a good job. Okay, the Critter Quilt. Da -da -da. I, uh, it was pretty bright sunlight outside, but I took it out and did a little video, so let's go. Well, here it is. Here's Critter Quilt number two. It's a bright sunny day. The ground is dried up a bit so I can film. Oh, look at this. You can really see the pattern because you can see my shadow too. But you can really see, see this wonderful sort of wavy uh, pattern. I kind of think of it as like, like fur on the animals kind of a thing. Like, yeah, use your imagination. So <laughs> there they are. There are all the, the critters in their glory. Let me show you the back. This is the donated fabric with the elephants for the back in green, which works perfectly, and the gray binding. And then there's the label. Got a nice big label on here with all, all the people listed. Awesome job, everybody. One more time out front with all of them. So I'll take a picture and put it up on the Critter Quilt page at my I Love to Make Quilts so that you can take a look at it closer if you like. You can always click the picture open and uh, scroll in on your device. So thank you everyone for donating blocks. This is gonna go to a wonderful new home. And here's the label. So it's all finished and I'll take a picture of that too. 
It looks so good, so fun to use that and use up some of my uh, half square triangles. So, so I am very, very happy to be able to film it and we'll be able to pack it up soon and send it off to our ambassador, Lileen. And then once it's um, presented to the organization, then I'll be able to tell you all about that part. I wanna show you making the label because I had, you know, had that panel with some with a little sewing bird and then some random half square triangles and stuff. And so I did a little walkthrough of how I put that together. Here's the label for the critter quilt. And so I've got to, I'm going to back it because the backing of the critter quilt, here it is, is green. And if I just put this on top, you do see, you can see the green through it. Um, and not bad, but you can see it. If I put a piece of white, if I make it like, you know, a pillowcase, turn it inside out, this actually creates a really nice base behind it so that I'm not going to see any sort of shadowing of this background. So what I'll do is just put this piece white square, right sides together. I will sew, you know, around leaving an opening in one of the sides. I'll sew around and then I'll turn it inside out. So let me do that. So I've got them layered. The, this other side is just a little bit bigger, but what I'm sewing on is just the block. I'm not really worried about that seam allowance. I want to start just a little bit down on the side, back stitch, and then I am just going to go to each corner and rotate, just like you would do like a pillowcase, anything you want to turn inside out like that. So I can go all the way around. Oh, I just ran out of bobbin thread. Okay, well, I will finish it and show it to you. Put a new bobbin in there. <laughs> That's always the way, right? Just, and I knew that bobbin was getting, getting uh, low. Be sure you take all your threads like this, the red thread, that will shadow through. I don't want that in there. So just pick any threads off that you find and rotate. And so this is going to be the label. Okay, I'm very excited to get the label done. Get this all ready so that it can go. This critter quilt number two can go to charity. It can go to be hanging in a facility and for other people to enjoy. Okay, so I've got one more corner down here. Okay, one more, one more. Let's go, let's go, 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 go. Okay, did I go past there? <clears throat> too far one stitch more all right so I will go just past the intersection and then back stitch now at this point I will I'm gonna clip the four corners here because I just think that when you turn things and you've got the corners clipped that it turns much nicer and I am going to use let me get it I am going to use the pink flamingo tool. So where is my opening that I so nicely left? Okay, so here's the opening. So I will be just turning it inside out, right? That's, and then that opening I will press so that I'm going to hand stitch this to the back of the quilt after I write everything on it. Um, and you could write it ahead of time, depends on your personality. I could have written ahead of time. I just didn't think about it. I was sewing and so I'm like, I just want to get this part done. Uh, and then now I will take the turner here for all four corners and just go in the corner. Here you can see. So you can see the fabric, the front of the label. See there. Use the corner turner and then I will press this so that we will have a nice double-sided label that we won't get any shadowing so there we go it's almost almost there the opening is right here here's the opening so I will just kind of fold it there's a little thread I'll just whoops oh, that actually is a loose thread okay so I'll just fold that and press all of this will be pressed so that I have a nice label that I can just write on all the information and then stitch it to the back of the critter quilt. So I will just give this a super good press. Yeah, now it's got this nice edge that's all turned under and 
it will just go on there super cute so let me just show you here's the it'll go some it'll go down on the lower part like this on the back of the quilt darling darling so next thing is to write on it <laughs> So there's where you can take some of the parts, little parts that you have left over, something from a panel, and you can just sort of make a very unique, one-of-a-kind label or a block for a project that you're doing. So it's a lot of fun to sort of take those different pieces and combine them up. I mean, I think that's one of my favorite things to do. I think it's just so much fun. Seeing that it's Critter Day, two of the things that came in the mail were backing options for Critter Quilt number three. This one is from Terry in Illinois. Here's a pretty card she sent. And uh, look at this. Look at this with the koalas. Look how sweet. Look how sweet. So even though I have one Critter Quilt, uh, there are many, many other charity quilts that I do. And so one of these will go for the Critter Quilt uh, three and one will go on the other another charity quilt during this year and so they will not they will get used so here's the other one from uh genie in oregon she says she goes we quilters have fabric <laughs> she goes she had this and she wasn't going to use it and it's brown because she said that i might I'm thinking that the last quilt, because of the colors of all the animals, would be a little bit more earth toned. And so look at this one. Look how darling all those animals are. <gasps> so <laughs> I love, yes, we quilters have fabric. Yes, we do. And these, this is, these are not small pieces. They're both nice big chunks uh, that are just absolutely perfect. Here's the koalas again. Absolutely perfect for the back of a charity quilt for, for um, with the animals. So I will do another type of quilt, charity quilt, that I will make sure these the one that I don't use on Critter Quilt th 3 will go on that one. So they will be used and they are much appreciated. Thank you so much. I also have today that it is UFO or finish it up Thursday. <laughs> so I am challenging myself. I'm challenging myself. And if you want to pick something as well to get it done by Sunday, this is a big one. This is a big one for me. So I have, um, so what, what I want you to do is find something you can either finish or move it forward significantly. Pick something that you can, but if you don't have the energy, if you don't have the energy to do that, pick something you can at least do a little bit on from today, Thursday through Sunday and see how far you get. I am ambitious, I'm ambitious. So first of all, the little snowman is almost done. You can see I have this, I have like a third or yeah, about a third of the binding still to do from here to here. But I went with the um, little fabric that had the, the Christmas cookies. But look at this. It says Christmas calories don't count. Exactly. Exactly. So he's almost done. And I used the same binding fabric for the backing. But this is one of those, again, where I pulled it out and I'm like, oh, if I use that, they'll be almost gone. And will I be able to, oh, I should save it. So I said, no, 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 you're not saving it. You're going to just put it on the back. So I did it. I did it. It wasn't easy. Okay, so the other things. The uh, mushrooms, the All My Star mushrooms. Okay, so this will get binding. So I'm gonna do the binding for this one. That is an, you know, a must, must, must. And then I am being so ambitious, because by Sunday, remember I'm doing all my binding by machine, except for that little one, that's by hand. These others are by machine. And the binding's made. I just have to trim the mushroom. He's not trimmed yet. So I have these spools that I have not, I have not put a binding on yet. So, and the spools have this really great sort of soft wave quilting. Remember the spools when we sewed these together? So I'm gonna put binding on that. Yes, I am. Then it's made, it's all ready. I think I have binding made for just about, I think everything at the moment. And then my sweater weather, which here is some of the extra backing fabric, which is my Harmony Blue wide back. So there's, there's the backing. Yeah, I'm gonna see the backing first because that's the way I picked it up. There's the backing and here's the front. And I'm gonna show you the quilting on this one is kind of a, a diamond, a diamond, a double diamond. Look at that. 
It is so cool. It is so cool. So there, there's this one. Doesn't it look amazing? It like shimmers. It looks like snow, like shimmering snow. So that, that is on my docket. My docket until Sunday. I'm, I'm gonna get those done. Cause I, I know they don't take that long if I just make myself do them. So anyway, that is what I am doing. Now, now we're gonna switch and look at The Quilted Witch. So The Quilted Witch is a sew along we're doing from the book by Lori Holt with uh, the Fat Quarter Shop Sew Emma Publications. And so what I did is I made a version without the witch. Like it's The Quilted Witch's Garden. And we'll have more pumpkins and some leaves and the whole layout is here so that you can download it. Just to have something a little bit different. The quilt's a little bit smaller, uh, a little bit more fall oriented so it's not Halloween oriented uh, and I'm very excited about it I've loved working with the fabric that I'm working with and let me just show you what we're gonna do this section but before that before that our friend Mary in the group uh, she shared her top her completed quilted witches garden top so here it is now she has everything together and it just is so spectacular to see because of course I haven't made mine yet so mine's all been done just on the computer and it's just so awesome to see it actually made up. And her fabrics are very similar in colorations to what I'm using so that's super cool for me as well. So there's, there's what it's going to look like. Thank you Mary for finishing yours so we could see it. So the section we want to sew this week is here. We want to take it from this section down you know not not the pumpkin but from here across and I'll just show you the blocks and we're going to do this rectangular there which is right here this grouping right here and it's all that's all in the book there's no extra in my stuff for for sewing that but let me show you the boss I've been keeping the blocks in these project bags this is the one that Bobby made for me with the crab on it uh, it's not Falk it's a fall crab right in my fabric that's <laughs> all right let's look at these blocks and I okay before we do this, I will be sewing it after the video I'm not gonna have it done for the video because I ended up filming this way too late in the day yesterday and not enough time for me to actually sew it to show it to you today so I will sew some the next few days and probably by Monday then I will show where you know where I am with it I'll have it done I'll have this section of it sewn up uh, so here we go we've got to have some let's see the smallest stars and so we need we're not down there we're not to the cat so we need a twinkle star here and a twinkle star there so we've got two twinkle stars we need the biggest block let me just show you that guy here we go. So there is, yeah, let's just see. We'll get, get everything in here. So there's the big block right here. Then we also have to have this sort of medium star right here. This was it, a sawtooth star. So but there's only one because this one over here is in the next section. So we're only here. So we got one sawtooth star. We have a churn dash. We have one churn dash right here, this guy. And then we have two shoe fly blocks. So we've got two shoe fly blocks, one here and one here. So these are the blocks that will be sewn into this unit right here. Okay, so that will, I will sew that and uh, show it Monday at the latest. I don't think I'll have it for tomorrow, but we'll see. <laughs> Miracles never cease, do they? Miracles never cease. But I was just too late today working on it. So that is, I, I, oh, I forgot one. I forgot one. Wait, this guy. Was it like a farmer's daughter block? Something like that. This guy. So hold on. There we go. All of them. One more. Got that guy. I might switch him out. I might do a different one of him because this fabric's up here. So I might do one of the other ones of, of that that I have. So we'll see. Okay, so that's your assignment for the Quilted Witch. And if you have not started yet, just join in. You can join in now and just make the units as you go along if you want. Instead of making sets of blocks like we've been doing so far, you could just jump in and sew a unit. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> 
And so I have some things that came in the mail, some wonderful, wonderful things I want to share. Uh, this came from Mary in Wisconsin. Look at that. It's a red duchess machine, just like my featherweight. And she sent along this super cute, look how cute this is, a sticker. I love it. I love it. You gotta love stickers. Just gotta love stickers. From Linda in Wisconsin. Beautiful. She said the photo is from Wayne McCain, Vane McCain from uh, Kennesaw, Wisconsin Lakefront. So isn't that pretty? And she sent me along a coffee. Yes, a coffee in the envelope, but she did. She did. So. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've got from Kathleen in Kansas. Look at this cute card. And you have all written, again, so many wonderful notes. I read everything. Greg reads it with me. She also is treating me to some coffee today. So I appreciate it so much. This is just beautiful. Now, I believe this, okay, this one, I, um, it was kind of like a drop ship thing, but I think it was from Linda in Washington. Uh, there isn't any note, but a bunch of fun stickers, including some, whoops, some mushrooms, whoops, some mushrooms. Look at these, look at these. Look how cute they are. Look, fun things, some cardinals. These are so darling. I just love them. There's some more mushrooms. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun. I am going to have fun. Then I have here from uh, Chris in uh, Missouri. Look at the beautiful bluebird. Now, I don't know, if Chris, if you realize, uh, she wrote me a, a, a beautiful note uh, and telling me a bunch of different things. And But I used to live in St. Louis. Greg and I lived in St. Louis. His first job out of college was with McDonnell Douglas. And then I worked for a couple of different organizations, including contracting to Anheuser-Busch, downtown St. Louis. And so she sent me some Missouri fabric. So I am thrilled. I am thrilled. I'm just going to keep this for something special and also some of the sports teams. There's, I think there may have been another one. Yeah, here it is. The Cardinals, the sports teams, fabrics, so wonderful. And bluebirds, because they are, the bluebird of, is the state bird. Then she found me this. Holy moly, look at this. Oh, this is so cute. And it actually has a, kept, this was from the Girl Scouts, and it has milk chocolate covered pretzels. I love chocolate covered pretzels. Love them, love them. And so, yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. See, you be sure I got everything. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you put a, like a lot of little goodies in there, so I really have to check. Be sure I don't miss anything. Okay, we have from Terry. Terry in Washington. And Terry gets up very early and does the um, morning chat with us. So she sent a card. She told me she was wait. One of the things she sent in here is she had to uh, wait because it was just not coming. It was not coming on a timely manner. So that's totally fine. She sent me some coffee as well from Starbucks. Mwah. And there's, there's more. She wrapped it all with this. Look at this. Look how cute that ribbon is. Keeping that, keeping that, Terry, keeping it. Uh, this is a um, pot holder that she wanted to put the Duchess, my red featherweight. You can't see her today. She's back over there in the corner. Um, but she wanted to put that on there. And it's a pot holder. She says it's got the thin slide or whatever that is in there. And she says it works really well. So I'm supposed to use it. I'm not supposed to save it. Okay. <laughs> and then in here is, to open up the box. And she sent, Oh my goodness, yeah, loving that. Here they are, look, gingerbread, gingerbread ones. I gotta put those in my coffee, so cute. And then she found me, she put them in, she made a little bag for me, she said, but she found these clips. Look at these, look how cute they are. There's just a whole bag of them with different colors. They are so, look red, red, everything red. Look how cute these clips are, the birds. I love them. Mwah. I just can't believe it. This is just so awesome. Okay, and I have one more. And this one, is, uh, it's got a little story. So I got to tell you a little story uh, about it. It's from Heidi in Florida. And Heidi, uh, first of all, she sent, she found me snow flurry gummies. Uh, and she also sent a coffee. But the, the other thing she sent, she made a handmade card. Heidi just, oh, so nice. Well, she, she had written me, Heidi, you had written me before and said that, you know, your dad had a lot of railroad, uh, model railroad trains, you know, 
he did model railroading. Uh, and then she wrote me in the note and she was just asking what kind of uh, gauge Greg had. And her dad um, is still around, but he's, uh, you know, not doing as, as much anymore in the railroading. And so he used to have a shop where he sold them. And then when he couldn't do that anymore because they had downsized, he um, started doing custom painting on railroad cars and decals and things like that. And she said she asked her dad if he would do a special one. Uh, and he's not been as well. And so it, um, he hadn't been doing much of the decals and the painting because he just didn't feel well. And he, on Christmas Eve, she said he brought the car that he did. And, um, it's just, we are honored. We are so honored to have this from your father. I just can't even tell you. So Greg was so surprised as I was, uh, but this is a box that came in and let me just show you. So these are cars that um, they're custom painted and you buy blanks. Um, that's, and so then he paints them. So here, here is the car. And he painted, he put a decal on, not only with the Sloan Zone logo, but you can see our company name. Let me just hold it, they're delicate. Hold it over here, my company name. And then this is all about our company from our website. Uh, just so unique and special. We are just honored to have your dad's work. Just so honored. So, okay, my friends. Okay, my friends, this has been wonderful. I cannot tell you how much um, Greg and I appreciate all your love and support. Um, and I, and on, on the quilting note, I hope that you are making the 10th anniversary block, 10th, 10th anniversary block. And I hope that you will also um, be doing the Quilted Witch and share your, share your progress on that. So, okay, my friend, I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.